hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new without further ado let's go ahead and get straight into today's video today's video we're going to be reviewing a new no reserve la collection called endless summer so with that being said let me go ahead and get those colors for you so here are the five colors included in the endless summer collection let's go ahead and start swatching these the first color in this collection is called revolving The next color is Morning Thoughts. Okay, so let me just jump in and say that these colors are very, very opaque. Like this is only the first layer. And as you can see, there is a little bit of spots poking through, but to be honest, this is probably the most full coverage a gel polish can get. If you are someone who is interested in like more full coverage gel polishes, this is definitely it, okay? Like this is it, okay? So already I'm like kind of loving this. Next up, we have the color Burning. Next up, we have Summer's End. And last but not least, we have Remember That Summer. All right, so these are the six colors in the Endless Summer collection. Overall, I do want to say that these colors are very opaque, and I do think that they are definitely screaming summer, especially these two blue ones and possibly this pink one. It's kind of giving like pink orange sunset but i do think that the consistency is really nice what i will say is that the consistency is definitely more on the thick side so you do really want to pay attention to how thick you're applying these layers because if you're not safe you can accidentally apply it too thick and then once you go to cure it's not fully cured and it starts peeling off so do make sure to keep that in mind and try to apply these very minimally and like not too thick if you are interested in this collection or any of the colors from this collection i do have a code by kai where you can can save 50% off of your purchase. And of course, before we get into today's nails, I do want to give a huge shout out to Nail Reserve LA for sending me these products and allowing me to review them. 
But without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into today's video. Okay, so I went ahead and skipped my nail prep and went straight in with my matte peel-off base coat. And I also went ahead and sized out all of my tips for today. And to cure on my nail tips, I'm going to be going in with a little bit of base coat. And just for a little bit of clarity, I only use base coat to glue on my nail tips because I am using a peel-off base coat. I don't want these to stay on forever. So the base coat is kind of just like a good substitute. But if you're not using a peel-off base coat and you're kind of just doing your nails to last, I definitely recommend using nail glow instead. And before I shape up these nail tips, I'm going to go in with a single layer of base coat. All right, the base coat is applied and I have my tip cutters right here. And because I just did a very long set, I'm probably gonna do these more like on the medium side. So I'm thinking maybe about here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go kind of short today. This is so sad. Okay, this looks pretty decent. I really don't like my nose this short. This is not like my thing but i'm gonna try and like cater to all of the different lengths so i just like need to get over myself all right so i'm just gonna go ahead and shape these up using my 80 80 grit nail file Okay, my nails are prepped. Let's go ahead and jump into today's application.
Okay, so here is what my application is looking like. And literally, like right before I finished filming the application portion, my phone died. I turned my phone back on and I could not find the footage and my heart dropped like literally but i guess i just had to like give it some time because it popped up after like maybe a few seconds <laughs> anyways i'm gonna go ahead and start shaping up these nails and the first thing i'm gonna do is shape the undersides and the sidewalls of my nails using my 80 80 grit nail file Next, I'm gonna go in with this medium sanding band. And instead of only working this around my cuticle area, I'm actually gonna take this down the entire surface of the nail. And I usually like to do this when my nails are a little bit more on the shorter side, just because it saves my wrist a little bit of work. And I'm also just using a sanding band because I don't really have too much debulking to do. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and shape up the free edge using my 88 grit nail file. And next I'm gonna go in with this carpet bit just to go ahead and thin out the undersides of my nails. And lastly, I'm just going to buff my nails using my mini buffer. So 
so my nails are nice and filed. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands and then we'll move straight into today's nail art. All right, so the hands are washed, I've got a snack and we're ready to go. So today's nail set is actually inspired by a singular nail that I saw on Instagram. And I saw this nail and I was like, you know what? I wanna do this now. Okay, we're gonna be doing that today. My goal for today is to use at least three out of five of the colors. And just like a little side note, my skin is so dry. Like this isn't dust, this is just like, dry skin i don't know what's going on to be honest it could be the fact that like i kind of like shower and i don't really like moisturize because it's hot and like yeah <laughs> but i'm trying to do better i promise I'm, I'm trying to do better okay sometimes it's just like too hot okay and like it's just it's too much i do apologize on behalf of my skin for being so disrespectful anyway so the first thing i'm going to do is create a black fringe tip for the base of my nails i'm just going to put a little bit of this onto my mixing plate for today i am using my long liner brush i normally just like to start out by adding a little dash down the middle and i think i'm going to go to about here next i just go in on either side i'm going to be creating a u-shape okay scratch that whatever i just said so i think today i'm actually gonna go for a pretty deep French like I want it to be probably like more like here instead of like all the way up there again I'm going in on either side and I'm creating the U shape okay I think this is pretty good and of course I'm just gonna go in and fill in all of the blank spots I'm gonna wipe down the sides and then I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for a full 30 seconds. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with a second layer, just basically repeating the exact same process. So I'm gonna do the exact same process and speed through this and then I'll come back and we'll finish the rest of the nail art. Thank you. 
Okay, so for today, I think I'm gonna use these three colors and I'm gonna use these to create kind of like the airbrush effect. So I'm just putting a little bit of each onto my mixing plate. So to create the airbrush effect, I'm gonna be using a fan brush because to be honest, I don't really feel like it's worth like buying the tool if I can just use this. But if you have one, I definitely recommend that instead. What I'm gonna do with these colors is kind of like place them randomly on top of the French tip. I think I wanna start out with this blue because I do want this to be like the main color. I'm just kind of dipping into the blue on one side of the fan brush and I'm just going to start stippling it on top of my nail. And then I'm going to use the clean side of the brush just to kind of blend it out on the sides. Okay, so this is the first layer. I'm going to do multiple layers of this, but before I do that, I'm just going to quickly cure this for maybe about 10 to 15 seconds. All right, so before we get into the butterfly lines, I'm just gonna go over this with a layer of base coat. And the reason I'm doing this is because when I stippled on the color, it kind of creates a little bit of texture and I want the lines to be nice and smooth. So to create the like sort of butterfly effect, I'm actually going to be going in with my shorter liner brush and I'm going to go back in with my black gel polish. So I'm first going to kind of create like a swirl down the middle. Kind of 
kind of something like this and I'm going to kind of like divide this up into different sections just so that I can see the areas that I don't want to fill in. It looks a little bit weird now, but stay with me. So the borders about like here and here, I'm just going to round them out to make it look a little bit more smooth. And now I'm going to finish off by just like outlining the French. Okay, so I think it looks something kind of like this. It looks a little bit weird because I didn't add the dots yet, but we'll get there. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and cure this for a full 30 seconds. Next thing I'm going to do is start creating the little white dots. Now before we go in with the little clear bubbles, I'm first going to go in with a layer of top coat. Okay, we are almost done, I promise. The next thing I'm gonna do is start creating the round circles or like spheres using some rhinestone glue. And I think I'm actually gonna mix it with a little bit of glitter. All right, and I'm just gonna take this little brush here just to pick up the rhinestone glue. Now there's a lot of bubbles in this, so I'll see how this works. Actually, I think I might not do it with glitter. Yeah, I think the clear version is a little bit better.
Okay, so I came up with a brilliant idea. What if on the bubbles I used like a blue like pearlescent powder? I think that could look like actually really nice. So let's see, I'm gonna use this one. Hopefully it's just blue. Oh yeah, that's nice, I like that. Okay, so it's blue, but it definitely has hints of yellow and I'm not really mad at it because it kind of looks cool. I don't know. I think maybe I'll also use like some different colors as well. Maybe mix them in here and there. And to be honest, I think I'm only going to keep it on the bubbles that are like on the French tip because I don't want these ones to be like yellow and like mess up the nude because that's just not cute. Now I'm gonna go in with my final layer of top coat just to go ahead and finish this off. Okay, so this is the Nail Art 100% complete and I really do like it. I feel like the pearlescent powder just adds a little bit of like subtlety and I kind of like that. So to finish off this nail set, I'm gonna go in with some cuticle oil. And that completes today's set. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was definitely not a set that I thought that I could actually like pull off. So this was definitely like a leap of faith for me, but I'm so glad that I did it because it came out really nice. And it's a little bit different from my usual style, but I actually don't mind it too much. Now, even though I didn't use every single color in this collection, I do think that the collection works really well together. But if you do like the set and you end up purchasing it, I would definitely try using all of the colors and just challenging yourself. And again, you can use my code by Kai to save 50% on your purchase. Again, I want to give a huge thank you to Nail Reserve LA for sending me these colors. And every time I try their colors, they are always super pigmented and so opaque. So of course, if you are interested in these colors, I will leave them linked down below as well as the official Nail Reserve LA website. Of course, I would love to hear what you guys think of this nail set down in the comments. Would you wear it for the end of the summer and into like the fall weather? I think it's definitely appropriate for the summer. Not so sure about the fall, but I guess there is like butterflies all year round. So I don't know. I guess it kind of just like depends on where you live. So maybe it works for the fall. I don't know. All I know is that I actually really like this nail set. So definitely let me know. But as always, I want to say thank you guys so, so much for tuning in today and I will see you guys in the next one.